2024. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're in a new year. Kind of crazy, but always exciting. I feel like I'm excited. So it is definitely time to sit down and restock my makeup case. So if you want to sit down, reorganize, recoup, rejuvenate my makeup stash, then make sure you stick around. So if you're not new here, you already know that I keep a big makeup tote, which I'll show you in a second, because I usually do my makeup upstairs. My beauty space is downstairs. And I've kind of been on a mission to use up makeup that I already have. I've been really trying not to go crazy with buying over 2023. So it is finally time to sit down and look through my makeup case pick out stuff that I'm tired of using that's old, expired, whatever, and look through my stash and fill it up. Click that subscribe button and join the fam. You won't regret it. We have a great community here, I must say, but I'm a little partial. But make sure you click that subscribe button, join the fam, and now let's just get started. I'm so okay, excited. So for this part, going to do it on my handy dandy cell phone. Okay, as you can see, she's full, right? right it is time to look through this some things that i know are definitely going to stay my stands out beauty sponge which yes it needs washed i know my pencil sharpener my shears my lash comb my razor for trimming up those eyebrows this is the glowish blur jam i actually have really come to like this i just use it all over my face like a primer but it's almost gone and i am ready to swap it out with something else in my collection so that's gonna go I've been using my Tati Beauty palette which I love so much I'm so sad that this is no more um, I'm definitely not gonna get rid of her but I am gonna swap this out for something else I keep this Inglot Duraline but I, I truthfully can't tell you if I've ever used it maybe once I think you can make like extra metallic -y eyeshadows with this so I hold it on for that but I never use it but I will keep it in here just in case my tried and trues nyx lift and snatch eyebrow pencil absolute favorite and the thicket stick it brow gel so those will definitely stay in here i am going to switch out my ulta beauty eye primer i have a different one i'm gonna put in here so we'll get to that in just a moment i think i am going to keep this fractal eye paint for just a little bit longer do sadly think it's time to get rid of this heavy metal by Urban Decay. I do love this. I'm definitely going to eventually get another one, but I've had this a long time. I think it's time to go. My Freck and my Lash Adhesive. Gotta have those in a makeup stash. Absolutely. I think I will pull out my Essence Contouring Palette. This is not old, so I think I'll keep it in my stash for now, but it's just a little bit too dark. I got, I got a little little crazy this is for darker skin actually I think I will get rid of this it's just it's too harsh it's too much it's real dark but I will tell you the quality is very nice honestly this reminds me a lot of the Kat Von D um, big contour palette um, in the way the powders perform in the pigmentation honestly a good product I would repurchase this this one's just a little too dark for me definitely keeping my matte bronzing powder this is such a good one by Essence I will keep my Essence 16 hour powder foundation. I just received this in Influencer. I'm so excited to play with it. Smashbox Halo. It's a bronzer, blush, uh, bronzer, blush, and highlight palette. Something I am obsessed with, Essence Positive Vibes Only Baked Highlighter. I pop this over my blush for the prettiest pink glow. I think I have another blush in here when I find it I'm going to set it aside I do think I'm going to swap out some blushes this brighten up powder by essence I like it for under the eyes I'm going to keep it my elf baked highlighter I seriously love this but I do think I'm going to get rid of it so I can use up something else I honestly do not like this thrive cosmetics pencil um eyeshadow pencil it's not my favorite so I do think I'm going to get rid of it I don't love these two by e.l.f., but I think I'll keep playing with them. I do reach for them on occasion. My favorite concealer of all time, e.l.f. Camo. Definitely keeping. Some little ColourPop pots. I'm going to keep those. Falscara. I really don't use Falscara, but I guess I will keep this because it was kind of expensive. Definitely swapping out foundations. I actually really like this Jaclyn Hill powder, and it's not going to be around anymore, so I guess I'll just use it up. Why not? Two setting sprays. 
Um, this is the Super Fix Super Hold by Revolution Beauty, and I'm going to keep that. I love it. On the days I'm feeling dry, I use this Do It by Fourth Ray. I am going to keep this in here because the harsh winter is still around the corner. Hollywood Filter. Gonna keep using this. Got it in Influencer. I really love it, but like the quality, I mean, this is already rubbing off. Are you kidding? Some falsies that I never use, but hey, maybe once, maybe one day I'll want to. The best liquid liner I have ever purchased. One size. It works so well on my hooded, creasy eyes. The other blush I was looking for. The mascara I've been using, Highly Rated Lash Extensions by Milani. Keeping my Huda Beauty Powder. Gonna keep that. And two pencil eyeliners. Always gotta have those in your stash. I'm also thinking about possibly swapping out some of my brushes, but I do use these a lot. Kind of browse through here and see if there's, excuse me, focus camera. Browse through here to see if there's something I want to swap down there. Okay. I'm going to pull my two e.l.f. brushes. This little flat bronzer brush, a fan brush, and this foundation brush. And that'll actually free up a little bit of room when I'm closing my kit. Since I am pulling my Glowish Blur Jam, I am going to put in my e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. So that will go in. You know what? I think I am going to pull my Loose Huda Powder. I've had it a while go in with my pressed Huda powder. Here's what I am really excited about picking out a foundation. Some of these I've had in here for a minute and I am ready to try it. But I am gonna have to look at the shades because I need to see which one is my winter shade. Oh, looks a little dark. Maybe none of them. Mm hmm. Ooh, this one, this one would probably be good for winter. Let me check out the house labs. Oh, this one would also work. I'm more excited to try the house labs. Should I put two foundations in? Maybe I'll put two in there. That would solve that problem. I know I want to swap out some blushes. I really, really do. And I think I will get rid of the note. I'll keep the e.l.f. and the glowish for now. But I'm going to instead put in my two Juvia's Place little palettes. Some really pretty tones in there. Definitely want to put in a different highlighter. I'm thinking the Amrezy because it's like a gold champagne tone. And this one's kind of fun too. Maybe I'll just put them all. I think I'll do the Amrezy and the Juvia's because one is cool and one is warm and set these aside for a rainy day. I have really been wanting to play with some color if you can't tell today. So I think I'm going to reach for my green palette. These are Coastal Scents eyeshadows, which no longer exist anymore, which is sad because I do like these. I feel pretty good about this, honestly. I just love starting the new year fresh, refreshed, switching it up with some products. And then I'm like, hold on, I see something I kind of want to switch out. I'm going to pull my e.l.f. camo for my Tarte Shape Tape. This is the Ultra Creamy Concealer because you know what? This has just been sitting in my thing forever. It's time, I'm gonna reach for it. I'm going to do it. It's honestly just so hard for me to believe that it's already a new year. Honestly, kind of floors me. I'm, I'm very excited about this new year. I am feeling like I've got lots of goals I wanna work towards. Let me know, what are your goals? This is really hard to get out. This is the About Face Shadow Fix Smoothing Eyeshadow Primer, but apparently you don't get to use it because it doesn't come out with the package. What are your guys' goals this year? I would say my goals are kind of still continuing, continuing with some from last year. Um, a big thing for me this year though is really being wise with the money I spend, still focusing here on my channel and bringing content that's exciting but also using what I have and talking about products that I already have and that I love and only buying things that I truly, truly, truly am so excited about. Um, I really have goals of just getting a little more financially stable in 2024. To get there, it's all about me making smart decisions because my husband is not a spender at all. <laughs> 
He does not struggle with that. I'm an impulse buyer, I won't lie. I have been a lot better in 2023, like a lot better. I'm not buying into all the YouTube hype like I had in years past, but I, there's always room for improvement. So that's definitely something I'm focusing on in this new year, as well as continuing with my health journey. I have been very good over the last year about going to the gym. Like really, I go probably four, if not five days a week. And I now truly love hitting the gym. Like I, I am definitely not um, in like an athletic body by any means, but I can run way longer than I ever used to before. I look forward to working out. Like that's a new thing for me. Like I love working out now. Uh, it resets my mind. I feel like I could be having a really bad day. I'm grouchy. My kiddo just is like pushing me to the brink. Um, toddlerhood, man. And then I get a workout in and I feel good. I feel refocused. I feel recharged. So I love it. Definitely continuing with that. And continuing with trying to be better about sweets. Sweets are still a struggle. I can't lie. I think anybody who struggles with the sweet tooth, it goes in phases, I'll do really good and then I'll do really bad. So just kind of working on my relationship with food, I guess you could say, uh, just trying to, to focus on balance. Even more than last year, there's definitely room for improvement. I was listening to Raw Beauty Christy and everything she said I feel like is so true for myself. I'm like an all or nothing person, so then if I'm like I've had one food that I consider a bad food, then I'm like, oh, the rest of the day doesn't matter. That is not a way to look at it. I just want to eat things and put things in my body that make me feel good, that make me feel healthy. And then on the other end of that, because I've been really uh, enjoying listening to Gary Brecka. I'm sure you've heard about him if you like are online. I feel like he's everywhere right now. And he's all about health, right? And I do believe health is wealth. It is the top most like if you don't have health, you don't have anything. I don't care how much money you have. And I do greatly believe our diet and activity level play into our health and long-term health for sure. No doubt about it. But he is very, very regimented. I don't know him personally, but I'm going to go on a limb and say he never indulges. Like his idea of indulging is probably having... Um, watermelon with breakfast instead of saving it for the afternoon which is a better time to eat carbs he says that is not my idea of living either i'm a foodie my husband's a foodie like when we're traveling we want to try good food we want to try new spots so in 2024 for me is about balance because i know myself and i know that if i never indulge and i don't try things i'm excited to try I don't really feel like I'm living either. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Like, are you a foodie too? So definitely, that is definitely in my 2024, as well as being more focused on keeping myself connected with friends. I feel like when you're a working adult, you've got kids, it's so easy to get caught up in the weeks and you keep thinking, I'll reach out to them, I'll make a plan with them. And then it's like the weeks just fly by and you haven't done it. Just goes by, blows my mind how fast it goes. And I definitely feel like I need to do a better job of reaching out to my friends and making plans and not doing excuses like my house is a mess. Who cares? My friends do not care if my house is a mess. Just invite them over, let the kids play and have a good time and just enjoy making memories and spending time with friends. The house can wait. That is always a struggle here because I, I, I really like my house to be tidy. <laughs> so uh, with a toddler, it's hard to keep it tidy enough for me. So definitely just focusing on making plans with friends and sticking to it. I would say those are probably my biggest goals and to read more. My friend gave me a book and I was like, you know what? This is a good incentive and reminder. I need to read. I have like, no, I think I've read one book since my daughter's been born almost three years ago. So it's time to get my brain working like that again. I definitely find myself at the end of the night when I just want to like recharge my batteries or have what I consider alone time. I like to scroll on my phone, right? I'm sure like many of you, but I'm like, I could be enjoying time to myself, but also, you know, strengthening my brain power. So there, that's the last thing. I think those are my main things for 2024. What's on your agenda? I'm gonna go ahead and get this all filled up, clean a few brushes, but thank you so much for hanging out with me, restocking my makeup stash and as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.